time <clears throat> first race done it was it was good it's hard to tell um for me like you come over to europe and i don't really know many of the other girls at the moment and like you're mixed with elite too so it's hard to tell but yeah something that did occur to me not until actually i was cooling down is that this is the first race i've done ever that i did like completely by myself like i i don't coming in here i didn't know anyone else but it's kind of weird because like it didn't really feel that bad because i guess like you know i like met the people that helped me fix my bike and handed me water bottles so already everyone was so friendly and like the other girls on the start line so yeah pretty proud of myself for that we're gonna go visit my friend in czech republic um and stay there for a few days what's up my g's <laughs> i'll put this in the vlog he here we are in the biggest hood in the whole europe is a chocolate we have the biggest headquarters for everything. So here we are at my crib. You see, here are, here are the rules. You can smoke, but yeah, we understand. Let's go. Is my rig. It's my old one, you know. It's Benchy. This vlog is not about you. <laughs> okay, keep going. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about me. You're at my place, so let me have my own uh, time of time. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> But you need to like uh, do a lot of cuts because <laughs> which burning so we, we're gonna burn you but hey okay. wait we're going to a witch burning it's best translation i could get burning the witches <laughs> <laughs> so we're in nova mesto i have a calm from wednesday but it's friday now so we have five days when we have to work out somewhere to park um and i'm like in the event car park but i think they're gonna like put all these barriers and stuff up but the biggest problem is that i don't have any reception in check so i can't really look stuff up and then there's just been a few other things my fridge isn't working i still have to fix the tap it's just lots of things we'll get there so, turns out everything's fine. I just need to have a nap in there. The fridge works. And um, this truck that's, you know, parked me into this little corner. But they seem fine with that. So, I'll just stay here. It is a good feeling to be the World Cup. I don't know, I get so excited just seeing all the setup and everything. I'm ready to race. I'm ready to go. Shit. doing a little gym session. Had to get a little bit creative, but really, we can do pretty good. Government is trapping the system. So what has happened is that this is under the sink. I think this here up here is leaking and I reckon maybe if I can get some like glue and glue that seal in better it'll be okay I think and hopefully that trip is gonna stop. I nearly got this one out and it all seems good just gotta work out these wires. We have these little clippy things that attach to this box that the other wires were attached to. And they have broken off, but I think that's good because I think these wires need to somehow go inside the little clippy thing. Well, clippy thing is inside the box. It's like 
molded on. And it's quite hard not to break it. So, very delicate operation. After some very precise plier work, we have done it. And then, the cable just goes in there, hopefully. And it works. <laughs> the little things are attached. Yay! Now, I'm just going to pray it works. Okay, it is time to see if this works. So, on the power. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's not a good sign. My theory is that the electrics are wrong because I'm not sure why I was leaking, but when sound was coming out, well, I mean, there was no sound. I know it makes sound. Uh, so, turns out I was right about the wires because, based on my basic electronics knowledge, um, one had just come disconnected them. <laughs> it works! Oh my god. It works! I fixed it all by myself. Oh my god. This is amazing. Doing some course practice. Yeah, so um, first XCC and first front row start. Didn't didn't go as planned, but you know I had a good start, um, and then yeah, once you kind of get back. It's quite hard to make your way back up through the bunch. Uh, so hopefully we can do better on, tomorrow. So it's race day. I'm not racing till 5 p.m. So killing time. I'm gonna go watch some juniors race. It'll be very interesting to see how I go. I really don't know. I could, yeah. We'll see. Hopefully not terribly. Zoe Cuthbert because she not damaged as badly as that but she's silver medalist at the Commonwealth Games we saw her crash massive crash I think we even have the pictures of it here today and, and I'm interested to see how that plays out for her but yeah that, that crash uh, what she had uh, in a short track actually was uh, impressive how quick she was back on her bike because even before the last rider passed her she was riding again and but that crash was yeah it was terrible to see but luckily she didn't hurt herself too bad and uh, yeah, I'm wondering if she can do well here on the, on this hard uh, cross country Olympic course. That's something different. It's something different, yeah, and that's a huge part of mountain biking as well. Recovering when it when it all goes wrong. We can hear, in fact, from Zoe just now. Zoe Cuthbert, you had a fantastic start out of the gate, a bit of a manoeuvre. How did you recover for for today's under 23? Yeah, I'm all good, just a little bit bruised up, but the aim for today is just to make it around the second corner. <laughs> That's going to be a good start. Where's the focus point for you on today's course? Um, I really love this track. I love how technical it is, and I'd really like to be able to hit up those downhills and feel really strong on those. So that's the aim. Fantastic, mate. Have a great race. I'm gra glad to see you on the starting line. Thank so you. Just... And we are racing once again here in Nova Mesto, Namarave. That's off the World Cup race in a lot of the... Tell you what, Bart, the future is bright, isn't it? For these uh, these under 23 racers, they're racing so tight throughout the field, up and down it. Well, very happy with that race. I think I came into it with pretty low expectations and pretty low self confidence. But yeah, top 10, definitely the forms there, definitely was like up there with the bunch and feel like, yeah, super stoked with that and so keen to the next one.